The Freedom Trail is a 2.7 mile red brick and painted path that connects 16 significant historic sites or stops. Its official start is at the Boston Common and it ends at the Bunker Hill Monument in Charlestown. Seeing it all in one day is difficult, especially if you want to spend time visiting any stop. And there are many unofficial stops, things you will see and want to know about as you walk along the trail. Please keep in mind that there is no historical reason to do the stops in order, although geographically there is some advantage to seeing stops that are close together. Most of the stops are Revolutionary Era themed, but some of the most popular, such as Old Ironsides, post-date that period. Make sure you have time to see what you want according to your interests and schedule. To provide some sense of the distances, Walking directly from the official Freedom Trail stop at the Boston Common to Faneuil Hall is only about 0.6 miles, or 1 kilometer, and takes less than 15 minutes. Walking from Faneuil Hall to the Paul Revere House in the North End takes 10 to 15 minutes. The Charlestown stops are another 15 plus minute walk from Copps Hill and Old North Church, the last stops in the North End and there is a 10-minute walk between the USS Constitution and the Bunker Hill Monument. To get back to Boston from Charlestown, one of the best tips I can offer, as the walk can be tedious at the end of a day of touring, is to take the water shuttle. The water shuttle runs from behind the USS Constitution Museum in the Charlestown Navy Yard to the base of Long Wharf by the Aquarium and the Boston Marriott Hotel. It is fun, inexpensive, only $3 for adults, with children under 12 free, and a great way to experience Boston from the harbor. I take it all the time. So what would I do? My top recommendation is to enjoy one of the free National Park Service tours that leave from Faneuil Hall, especially the one that visits the North End, my favorite part of Boston. Other favorites include the USS Constitution, which is great for kids, the Old State House, which features a wonderful museum and excellent docent programs, and the Old North Church. Truthfully, I hate to leave out the other stops, but if I had very limited time, those would make my short list. The important thing is to create your visit around what interests you and the amount of time you have. Enjoy your visit.